Welcome to Conflict Advocate number two. So we're going to do a double creature feature survival guide thing. So the first one is going to be Ghoulies. Because Ghoulies is a movie that I remember but never understood. Alright? So, so that we are clear. I don't know how the guy summoned them. I know one came through a toilet and everything else came through anywhere else. And the other other one, the Akin one, the other one I'm going to do is um the Puppet Master. So these are going to be short reviews because I don't remember how they got rid of them. So first and foremost, personally, I've learned from watching other movies on how not to get into these situations. So if you're going somewhere with someone you know specifically is enamorately curious and exceptionally smart, and you're going somewhere on an adventure where it's more than likely you're going to stumble into trouble. Here's how you avoid situations like the Ghoulies and like the Puppet Master. Now both of these involve magic summonings. Alright? So I'm going to tell you first and foremost, I'm not going to be there. That's how I'm going to survive the Ghoulies. Because the Ghoulies happened when they got and decided, hey... If you haven't seen that movie, you should see that movie. And in these times, I'm going to say this. It's going to offend you, and I'm sorry. But there are no black people in Ghoulies. I mean, Ghoulies. So there's a bunch of white people in Ghoulies. As you can see, my skin tone is definitely not white. And I won't be there. So in Ghoulies, they had a seance in the basement of an old creepy house. And they summoned these little troll-type monsters, which one popped up through the toilet. So here's how I'm not going to be there. Because I don't know how far their range of magic goes. And I know that by the time you get to Ghoulies 3, there's like a gigantic one. I think they use a rocket launcher on that one, but I don't remember. It's, I have to go back and watch some of these things. But um, if you're not there to be involved with them summoning the magic, which means I won't go with my friends that are exceptionally smart and can read Latin, I'm not going with them anywhere. Because they would be the idiots that summon these damn things. And I gotta do everything I can to just survive. To hell with saving them, but survive. I'd have to save the idiot that could read Latin. Because they're gonna have to find the closing spell. So that's how I'm going to survive the ghoulies. I'm like, look, I'm gonna keep you alive long enough for you to complete the spell. After that, you can go to hell and we're not friends anymore. But if we are gonna be friends, if we're gonna remain friends, I'm not going anywhere else with you if we survive the situation. Now... Let's move on over to the Puppet Master. Again, another thing survived by magic or summoned by magic. Um, anybody seen the movie The Indian in the Cupboard? It's probably the safest magic movie you can see outside of uh, all of the Narnia movies. <sighs> Again, I'm not going to some strange hotel with a friend who likes to fuck with magic. Because, as they say in the... Um, Indian in the cupboard, you should not mess with magic that you do not understand. That shit is true to life. So again, you know, I'm not going to be there because I don't want to be with my friend who's an idiot, but a genius. They have wild E. Coyote syndrome, super genius, but not smart enough to stop buying Acme products. And if they can read Latin, you know we're screwed because they're going to read something that they probably shouldn't read. And you know, when you read things that you shouldn't read, you always summon something that you can barely send back. And fourth, the Puppet Master, uh, I think he was killed after he summoned the damn things. Or he was killed in the second one. There's a lot of Puppet Master movies. So, um, any producers ready to remake those, I'm ready to star in them. But anyway, the whole point is, first and foremost, don't mess with magic you don't understand. So the Puppet Masters, if you go back and watch my video that has them in there with the Googlies, like back to back. The, um, it was little puppets, man. The guy with the knives, like Freddy. You got the big built guy with the drill for his forehead. You got the chick that um, spits out leeches and stuff like that. She would probably be the one that does me in because I like women a lot. Maybe more than I should. But that would probably be the one that kills me. And I don't like leeches. I had a bad experience with the leeches as a child once. And not from the Stand By Me movie where you go in your shorts and pull it. I just literally picked the leech up out of the creek because I didn't know what it was. My uncle slapped it back into the creek. And that solved that problem with me and leeches. Hurt my hand a lot so I don't pick shit up when I'm in the creek I didn't think I could actually catch it and I just snatched it up and that's how I got the leech but anyway back to the story I'm not gonna be there 
I'm not going to be there while you're fucking with this magic that you don't understand. And I'm going to survive because I'm not going to be there. Now, let's just happen to say I happen to stumble into this shit. And hopefully, I will have to deal with the big guy with the drill on his head. Because that thing was super strong, you know. I have a fighting chance against him because he has one weapon. The drill. Granted, he has super strength. But at the heart of it all, he's still a doll. And dolls can melt. And these were cloth dolls. So they can burn. So therefore... I'm going to make sure that I always have my lighter on. And if Miss Leech or any of the other ones come crawling into my room, well, we're all going out like a blaze of fire because I'm going to burn those things to death. All right, so I'm going to do a bonus video for you guys. Not in this video, but I am a big fan of the Evil Dead. So we're going to do that. Also, I'm just going to do it right here. I changed my mind. I was going to go make a new video, but screw it. I'm going to do it right here because it involves magic that you don't understand. So we're just going to keep going. And here's the thing on that. If I'm going to a cabin in the woods with my fiance, there's no way in hell I'm not going to check the place out first. Like weeks in advance. I'm like, look, yeah, well, we're going to go check this house out. Before we spend the night there, we're going to go bright and early in the morning. We're going to check everything out, and then we may come back. But if anything remotely looks like it has a freaking record player from the fucking 14th century, we're getting the fuck out of there. And even better still, if the record player has tape that you can play, that shit's going to sit outside. And then she'll be like, well, why are you sending that shit outside? It belongs to somebody else. I'll say, well, I'll tell you what. Either it sleeps outside, or I sleep in the car. Because I'm not going to be fucking with that shit. And here's the thing. And I have to say it. Because there were no black people in the Evil Dead either. <laughs> there were no black people in all three of these movies. I'm not trying to sound racist. It's just a fact. There were no black people in the first Puppet Master. If they were, the guy was probably the bellhop. So, you know. If they were in the Evil Dead, he was probably somebody who worked with Ash in the back. Like the stock boy. Like, Ash, have a good weekend, fella. And you'll have nothing else to do with him at all. And he'll live out his life while Ash loses a hand. And a girlfriend. And a couple of other friends. So if you haven't seen any of the evil deeds in Army of Darkness, you will understand why I'm not going anywhere with a friend who can read, speak, or even think about reading some shit in Latin. And I can tell you that the first thing, if we happen to find a book, a book, made out of human flesh and it's in the house that we're renting for the weekend we're getting our money back dude we're, we're not staying there that night i was like look i seen this book in here we're, we're gonna rent another cabin somewhere else and in fact fuck that we are going to take the money that we had for that cabin get it back and we're gonna go on a vacation to florida where the only dangers we have to worry about is alligators or crocodiles, maybe a snake or two, because we're going to go to fuck the Disneyland. That's where we're going to go. We're not going to go to a cabin in the woods. And if we are going to go to a cabin in the woods, it's going to be like in the beginning of the woods. It's not going to be so deep in the sticks that we can't get help if necessary. Again, there are no black people in this film. So here's how you know that this works. You know, uh, black people, we don't go traipsing around in the woods. If we do go camping, we don't go camping for more than two days. We carry our own food with us. We carry guns with us. And if shit get out of fans, we leave all that shit there and get in the car and roll the fuck out. We don't say, oh, something in the woods. We got to go investigate. Not the kid, buddy. And I was in the army, but I'm not stupid. You know, if I don't have army grade weapons... I'm not going to investigate shit. This is Kung Fu Havoc number two. Because of the subject at matter at hand and the racist times that we have, I need to apologize to you right now. So what I'm going to do in my apologies, I'm going to make an extra video about the difference about people who go in the woods by race and skin color and gender. Thanks for watching. This is Kung Fu Havoc number two. Be seeing you.